Let's take a look at the front panel locking example VI. Observe that we have here one numeric control, which is the knob, a numeric indicator, and an OK button. If we look at the block diagram code, we see we have an event structure sitting within a while loop. The OK button is being handled to stop the loop, and a value change event on the knob control simply puts the value from the knob into the numeric indicator, and there's a beep function here. Let's turn on our context help to observe the behavior of the beep function. Here we have a frequency input, a duration input, and a false, which tells us that we want this beep function to actually generate a tone of the desired frequency and duration. Let's observe one other important point. If we right-click on the event structure and edit the events handled by this case, this allows us to observe and modify the settings. See that this event has lock front panel turned on. Recall that this is the default behavior, so let's run this VI and observe what happens. If we start the VI, and we click and we drag the knob, and even if we move it a lot, it only generates a few events. Also observe that the movement of the knob is very choppy. It will only move once every half second. The reason for this is because it, the event structure is waiting for the code within the event case to finish. We have this sound function, which takes half a second to finish. As a result, events are not being queued up. The front panel is being locked, and it's forcing us to wait until this event is finished. Let's stop the VI now and edit this event case. Let's now turn off the lock front panel button. When we click OK, now observe the behavior when we run this VI. Observe we're going to be able to smoothly turn the knob. But now observe that the system is very slowly responding to these, that the beeping seems to be continuous. The reason for this is that all these events have been queued up and they're happening one by one by one. Let's stop this code. And that's the only way to unqueue or unregister all those events. This is a good example where understanding the behavior of the VI is very important. For example, if we write our code in such a way that a piece of functionality, which takes a long time to occur, sits inside an event structure, then your entire code will either have to sit and wait for that to finish, or if you turn off the locking of the front panel, you might easily queue up many, many events to happen and cause your event to either get backed up or fail entirely. We're going to discuss in the intermediate course some more parallel architectures that will allow us to solve this type of problem.